diversion. I think I would stay on the rail trail and not take this one to the Tasty Island. So at Kin Mount, I would suggest staying on the rail trail and not doing this side loop. At least for the my going XL route. Say hi, Al. You aren't carrying the camera. A little bit of push. More to come.
a think right up there, it's open. Look at that. Enjoy the trail. Just heading out of Manuth. It's, I don't know, about 8 o'clock or something. What time is it? 7.24. 7.24. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Onward. So the rail trail out of Manuth is not something that we're going to make a lot of time on. It's a good hard surface, a little bit sandy, but lots of good wave bump to it. And when you got a boil you're sitting on, you don't want to go hitting these things too hard. And Hal has a sore ligament in his leg as well. Starting to take its toll this ride, but it's all good. Feeling good if not perfect. Beautiful morning sunlight streaming through the trees. as we head south on the rail trail. Ah. Lovely rail trail. Bumpy and soft and sandy. The best combination. Well, we could have rocks thrown in as well. God, bump on, plow on. Yeah. And we're in Bancroft. Breakfast time, yay! Very sandy sled trail. Sled and ATV trail. Nice, lovely soft sand. That's why we're riding on the edge where we can. Pretty though, very pretty. Here's where you need a really supportive spouse. Brings you your fat bike for certain loops. Swaps in out your gravel bike for other ones. Stanley said, I hope you've packed everything you need. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, this is this is tough. Yeah, I'd be calling for a lifeline if I was on a cross bike here. Even the ATVs are going over. Whoa. Whoa. Did you see my rear uh, white coat way back there? A little, no. My front car just dug in. Yeah. <laughs> Tempting. Another two or three hours, and I probably buy it. <laughs> I think it's this is mostly like this all the way into Ormsby. Oh yeah. So. We got another 76 to go. The sled trail can be pretty rocky and rocky too, depending on where it takes us. Yeah. Well, it stays like this. I'm okay. Not too sandy. Whoa, that hurt.
This is the way the trails are supposed to be. Out in the beautiful backcountry with hell. After a lovely night's sleep, listening to the rain, a pound, torrential rain, pounding on our picnic top shelter. <laughs> coffee this morning. And some rock laid down for the logging trucks. This uh, will be a little bit of picking my way through. Just turning on to the Trans Canada Trail to Sharbot Lake. Another 10 plus K to go. Looks like it's going to be a little wet along the Trans Canada Trail, or the Trans Canada Fail, maybe, as some some people some people put this trail. Needs a little bit of water maintenance. Take care. Bye. My great host last night, uh, Greg Rogers, uh, with uh, Arlette of the Rock Hill B and B, just told me last night that the K and P trail that we're st I'm starting on this morning is like you see here, all the way south and about 10 kilometers north of Charlotte Lake. Looking forward to starting a another day, day seven, uh, from Charlotte Lake. Just a great place to visit, and if you're coming through, stop and stay at the Rock Hill B&B. On the K&P Trail. End of the well-maintained K&P Trail and beginning of the old K&P Trail. Looks like this is going to be a slower trip.
Ah. Okay. Get the heart rate down. Let's go on the pole again. There we go. Angela. Yeah. Uh, I'm Ian. Ian and yeah. Greg. Uh, we're, we're married and uh, yeah. yeah, we, we bike to her. Fabulous. Yeah. Um, I guess we're, we're trying to do as much of the, uh, what's it called, Jedi? Oh. The Log Bowers Yeah. 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 Yes. Um, yeah. Trying to do Sampling the beer along the way, I can see. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. good. Did you get those two dollar can ones at Bistro last night? No, uh, we're, yeah. at, oh, the, we're at the brewery. Yeah, oh, Cal you went to the Cal 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 brewery? Yeah, I got one from there for last night. But. Oh, they were really good. Really yes. good. Leaving Shawville this morning onto this beautiful, real bicycle trail. On my way, hopefully, to Gracefield, 128K. As long as the pain in my shoulder is manageable throughout the day, I will make it. Then maybe stay in this campground that has TPs for rent. Had a great night's sleep, Shawville at the they're free tent for tent, anyways, $20 for RVs. Uh, campground. Huge breakfast this morning and stopped into Giant Tiger to find or replace my flip flops, which I lost yesterday.
typical log driver Walls Road. Although typically there would be hills just around the corner going up and up and up. Maybe there will be here. Nope. Down on a low level rise. Which my shoulder is loving. Riding along the Gatineau River. Can't beat the views around here. Climbing Mount St. Anne. along a road beside the Gadno River coming into Wakefield and staying with a host a log driver's false host who's going to let me stay in her cabin because they're not back yet from their hike in the East Coast Leaving Wakefield on the Trans Canada Trail. Next stop is Ottawa, staying with my good friends Ricky and Margaret.
turkeys. for the climbing all day.
leaving Ottawa on trail towards Charbot Lake. on the Trans-Canada Trail. Nice little bit of single track. A little bit slippery after last night's rain, but not raining today. Nice bunny in the morning. Nice rabbit. Never know what you're going to see in Ottawa. Commute to work in Ottawa. Outside of Ottawa now and on some beautiful Trans Canada Trail. On the Trans Canada Trail just west of Perth on the way to Charbot Lake and the day is great my left shoulder amazingly enough is not hurting and that's probably because we're not climbing nice and flat but let's keep our fingers crossed that after Charbot and when I get onto the Oak Ridges Moraine Trail tomorrow uh, that the shoulder with its new taping continues to not hurt because it certainly makes a world of difference to even more enjoying the day's ride. All along this trip around every bend is a little gem. So west of Charbot Lake, the Trans-Canada Trail could use a little work. There are 
some good sections and some pretty rough rocky sections and uh, this is what Greg Rogers at the Hillside B&B was telling me that he and others at Sherbert Lake in the community are trying to work on getting together a plan to improve the Trans Canada Trail in their area. Let's hope for, hope for them and us that they are successful. Fall colors! Spectacular ride! Look at the bulrushes. Every corner is a surprise. hazards on the Trans Canada Trail. Huh? GoPro turn off. And this is a particularly rough section of the Trans Canada Trail, which is really only suitable for ATVs. I do hope that the Great Trail Organizers Association organization will work to improve these so that it's suitable for regular cyclists as well. Another beautiful day ah, riding in Ontario, bikepacking in Ontario is amazing. The trail's a bit rough, but uh, this is a serene nature all around you. Birds, white tailed deer, turtles, a red tailed hawk. There's, of course, some white tailed bunnies. Trail coming into Tweed. Beautiful lake on the left. Well, I've done almost 70 kilometers of the 170 for today that I need to do today. Keep your fingers crossed, my legs and back and the shoulder keep all together for the rest of the ride. So far, a really enjoyable morning on the trail. Good my glamping for tonight. Shower, barbecue, outside tent, fire pit. This is awesome.
Starting on the Oak Bridges Moraine Trail. I hope it's not as sandy as this all the way. It's going to be a very slow day. And I have 140 kilometers to make to get to my destination in Aurora. Which I'll do, somehow. down a sand dune and it's been also flat or climbing up sand dunes Turning through soft sand. This is what a lot of the, unfortunately, the Oak Ridge Marine Trail is like this year. Much worse than it was last year. Really nice trails in Aurora. Beautiful signage, lots of seats, benches, and uh, some nice landscaping as well. So I'm cycling through the Case Woodlot in Aurora.
nice Oak Ridges rain trail. Nice firm surface, no sand. Just outside of Aurora, coming back towards Paul Gray. Trees down and nicely cleaned up by the Oak Ridges Moraine Trail Association, probably, and uh, signs of the storms that have come through this area in the last few weeks. About five kilometers away from Palgrave on the Oak Ridges Moraine Trail. It's been an amazing, wonderful day. Great trail rides around this area. No deep sand like there is in Ganaraska. Sunny skies every day for the last oh, 16 days on this bikepacking trip have been amazing everyone enjoyable, even when they've been very tough. Final 17 kilometers on the Humber River trails to home. After a 2,000 kilometer, 16 day epic adventure. Amazing trip, but really looking forward to letting my shoulder heal and seeing my sweetie Anley and having, putting my feet up and having cold beer at the cottage.